way the entire show is going to be based on this ball. I've just, <laughs> just decided now, just in case anyone's up the back going, what do you think he's going to talk about? <laughs> just this. The, um... <laughs> <laughs> Some of you sat there like that, you know, that haven't seen me before, probably going, <laughs> he's not, is, is he kidding? And I should be going, no. <laughs> Could we have a can of worms and two openers, please? Would that be possible? No. Um, what? I mean, you've opened a can of worms, is what I mean there. That's great. What the hell is he going to do with that? What, an large inflatable pork and a can of worms? What the hell is this show about? What's going on? The, um, <laughs> if I was MacGyver, I could build a tank. <laughs> just to not, just so, like that. And I'd, uh, put the worms in. <laughs> the, let's just put that off. <laughs> <laughs> That's... That's mad that a, an orange inflatable ball got a big round of applause. <laughs> Brilliant. That's the best opening of a show we've ever seen in our entire lives. It really is marvellous. And uh, so, what, so Paul Thornbury, Mr Thornbury, I, I, I don't know what I'll call you, Paul. I feel we're friends. <laughs> they, um, what, uh, God, I'm glad you're not into darts. That could have been a bit of a... <laughs> oh, could you imagine that? Oh, archery. You're just up the top in a balcony picking people up. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, that was the arrow <laughs> making a noise. Like, Why is Paul Thornbury shooting people with the accompaniment of a 1970s porn soundtrack? <laughs> Maybe you've got something against porn. Maybe you're up there and you look down and anyone looks like they've even vaguely filmed themselves making sweet love, you shoot them with an arrow. <laughs> like some kind of Cupid turned bad. <laughs> anyway, so, Paul, that, didn't, that, that never happened. The, um, have you confiscated anything else, by the way, down the front there? I've got a feeling that you've just got a load of chewing gum and, and flick knives. <laughs> Yes, I searched everyone before the show began, and quite frankly, they had items that they shouldn't have. The, um, no, so put Mr Thornbury up there. Um, is, uh, I will get that back to you, don't worry, because he's not going to enjoy the show now. He's going to be sat there all the way through, but am I going to get my ball back? <laughs> It's not often you have to say that at a gig, isn't it? Please, can I have my ball back? <laughs> no, you bloody can't. Once it comes on the stage, it's mine. <laughs> That's the only reason I do these tours, is to get free balls. <laughs> the, um, no, so, uh, so wh wh what do you do for a living, Paul? Cos you seem like some kind of devil-may-care beach bum that just kind of cruises around and brings his, his, his hilarious items to the show. What, what, what do you do for a living? What are you? He's a Hang on a second. He's, <laughs> He's a bricklayer. Show your face. <laughs> He's a bricklayer. Oh yeah, I can see that with the other lads down the side. They're all carrying the hods of bricks around there. Where's Paul? I'll be with you in a minute. <laughs> Come on, Paul, for God's sake, we've got to build this house. Just build a wall high enough so that I can dunk it. <laughs> the, uh, What do you mean he's up here? That's where I'm looking. I was looking up there. He's up here! How high do you want me to look? <laughs> Are you all right, Paul? I'm fine, thanks, Ross. Are you all right, John? Oh, God, I shouldn't have Paul Thornbury up there. That would be a nightmare in the second half, wouldn't it? I come, I come walking back on and he just drops things from there. Let's hope it's more inflatable items and not bricks. That could make for an interesting show. So, anyway, bloody block. <coughs> Ross was killed. The, uh, what do you do, Paul? Are you genuinely a bricklayer? He's a rich ball maker. Liar. <laughs> Are you Scottish by any chance?
It was probably the loud Scottish accent that gave it away. <laughs> but... <laughs> you know, called me old-fashioned and that, but it's the first giveaway. The, uh, there's a... There's a lot... I'm, I've been meeting a lot of people from back in the UK, actually. I met a guy today from Manchester who... Uh, hey! Are you from Manchester, or was that a delayed reaction from the volleyball? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey! Yay! Oh, sorry. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> no, where, whereabouts are you from? Leeds. Oh, you're from Leeds! Oh, well done! Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> I didn't realise there was going to be quite so many people in from the UK this evening. <laughs> you could probably tell them, cos while you were all playing volleyball, they were all sat there going, we're not very good at sport. <laughs> <laughs> You were probably there going, woo, and they were all just going, no. It's too hot. <laughs> Sat there all pale and weak going, we can't join it. Are you from Scotland? Could you tell from my cult? 